Hi guys, welcome back. So let's uh, look at the details of Nash equilibrium. So a strategy profile S, so don't forget what strategy profile is, right? It's a vector which basically tells us what strategy player one, player two, all the way to player N will play. So a strategy profile is a Nash equilibrium if and only if each player's strategy is the best response to his or her opponent's strategy. And that's true for each player. That's it. All right. So the idea is very simple. Every player is best responding his opponent. Uh, that is alternatively, uh, I'm just opening up this condition basically. Uh, a strategy profile S is Nash equilibrium if and only if uh, the payoff of a player I when he plays S I and his opponents are play S sub minus i is greater than or equal to his payoff when he plays something else keeping his opponent's uh, strategies fixed uh, for every si prime in si right so therefore si is the best response to s minus i <clears throat> and this should be true for each player i that's it uh, that's the definition of nash equilibrium um, so it's 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 actually very simple uh, concept uh, but the confusion usually arises when you apply this concept to uh, different game forms. So uh, there are a few remarks that I would like to make. One of them, uh, Nash equilibrium, Nash equilibrium is a stability concept. All right. Well, yes, it is true that we use Nash equilibrium as a solution concept, but in fact, it's a stability concept. What does that mean? That means uh, once the game is, is finished, meaning everybody selected his or her strategies and then they learn what you know, uh, you know, uh, strategy they played, uh, after the game, uh, none of the players would regret his or her choice. They, none of the players will say, should I should have played this. If I knew you would play blah blah, then I would actually play some. You see what I mean? So it's in a sense, uh, I mean it's not the second sort of, I, I, I mean the same thing. Uh, Nash equilibrium, Nash equilibrium is a what I call a regret free code in code. I mean, I'm, I'm using this regret notion, loosely speaking, regret free outcome. I mean, nobody will regret from his or her choice. That's, that's the idea. Okay. Uh, I mean, once the game is played and everything is realized, you know, no player will say, should I, I, I should have played something else. All right. Um, so every, every player is going to say, well, I mean, I did my best, All right? You know, given, given what you guys have played, I, my, my choice is actually the best I could do. All right. So in that sense, the Nash equilibrium, uh, the idea of Nash equilibrium is selecting uh, probably more than one uh, strategy profiles that is regret free. Uh, so that's, uh, so in that sense, it's stable. Nobody would like to, uh, nobody would like to change his or her outcome. Uh, or change his or her selection of strategy once the game is realized. You may say, look, I mean, uh, you know, this is a static game, right? Players are choosing their actions simultaneously and without knowing the other's uh, choices. And so why are we using this kind of solution concept, which actually cares about, uh, you know, whether the players are going to regret once the game is over? Well, uh, that's the, well, my answer would be to this question. Well, that's the best solution concept we have. Um, all right. So if you come up with a better uh, alternative, well, I, I believe the entire uh, uh, field of economics will appreciate your uh, invention. But trust me, uh, that's kind of the best uh, uh, solution concept that we have, at least for so far. And in fact, Nash equilibrium is a very nice property uh, for many other reasons. Uh, I don't know if we are going to have time to talk about, you know, what nice properties Nash equilibrium has. Um, but yeah, this is exactly why we use Nash equilibrium, not because it's, it's, it's the perfect solution. We know it's not the perfect. 
And to be honest, we don't know if there is a perfect or the perfect solution, but it's one of the you know, nicest solution concepts that we have. All right, so another idea of stability concept is due to the fact that it's, it's, um, it's looking at a, a strategy profile where nobody wants to deviate, right? Again, it's like, uh, I am best responding what you're doing. Uh, again, most of the times students confuse this, like, look, I mean, this is a game where when I pick my strategy, I don't know my opponent's strategy, right? S minus I. So how would I best respond something that I don't know? Um, well, as I said, this is exactly why I use this idea of Nash equilibrium is worried about once the game is over and the outcome is realized. And so nobody is going to regret, uh, nobody is gonna say, should I should have played something else, all right? Um, <clears throat> alternatively, you can, you can think Nash Equilibrium is selecting strategy profiles where one, each player uh, is best responding his or her beliefs about what the, uh, you know, what the other guys are going to do. And then second, uh, each player, each player's uh, belief is, is, is true. What do I mean by this? I mean the following. So if S, or let's denote it as I, S minus I, if S is a Nash equilibrium, that means player I, and this is by the way true for every player I, so player I is gonna believe that his opponents are gonna play S minus I, and therefore S I is gonna be best response to this belief. And then the second of all, um, you know, each player's belief about his opponents are gonna be correct. Uh, they're not gonna believe something else. They're gonna believe exactly what their opponents play. So. Uh, th this is, I mean, I don't know if I can uh, explain it correctly, but uh, this, this is a very strong assumption, right? I mean, we are, you know, two guys are playing a game and I, I, I believe something about what you're going to do. And then I best responds this. Well, that's pretty intuitive. That's sort of the definition of rationalizability in a sense. Uh, so it's a rational behavior to do, you know, best response to my belief. But then the second condition, what I believe is actually what you will play. All right, so my belief is going to be correct. Uh, so that's that's way too strong. Um, and so, uh, I mean, you can you can interpret the Nash equilibrium uh, concept in this fashion, uh, where it makes a very strong assumption about the player's beliefs are in fact true. Uh, or uh, you, can, you can just, you know, admit the fact that Nash equilibrium concept is actually worried about once the game is realized and the outcomes are sort of observed by everybody and nobody is going to regret from it and say, I should have picked something else. Right? Everybody is going to be sort of uh, happy with his or her choice and say, well, given that what you played, uh, there was no way. I mean, I mean, I, I basically selected my best uh, strategy. Uh, 